Hi, I'm Rick. I'm Sharon. And we are Cargo On. Cargo Conversion Building Camp. This video, what we are going to do is look at a couple of the popular destinations that we went to. And this week we're going to look at Florida. We went to the Keys. I loved, loved, loved. Did I say I love the Keys? I love the Keys. When I went to the Keys, I'm like, oh, Rick, I know where I want to retire to now. So we were out and I grabbed one of them home magazines and I'm like, okay, never mind, we're not gonna retire. Very, very expensive to live. But I loved it there. We stayed a little bit past Marathon. It was called Big Pine Key Fishing Lodge. And you know, you go over one, one of the bridges and there's like a little piece of land right there. So you could put your boats in there, which was great. So a lot of people had their own boats in there. Big Pine Key Resort previously known as Big Pine Key Fishing Lodge, occupies 10 pristine acres between the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. Perfectly positioned in the Middle Keys at mile marker 33, Big Pine Key Resort offers a friendly home base from which to enjoy all the Florida Keys have to offer. The resort has several camping options including waterfront RV sites, rustic campsites, plus recreational opportunities to keep you and the whole family entertained. The resort also offers RV rentals using Airstream trailers that are fully equipped, including with linens. We stayed there last March and it was called Big Pine Key Fishing Lodge. It's been sold since then, so it may be a little bit more money, I'm not sure, but I believe it's still very reasonable, much more so than if you stay in Key West. So I agree with what Rick said, that it is positioned in the middle of the Keys where you can visit a lot of stuff around there. We drove all the way down to Key West, which wasn't that far, and we went to Key West for a day. That'll be at the end of the video, and then we came back to our, our campground later that night. So I think it really saved us a lot of money, and uh, we really enjoyed the campground. To be honest with you, this is one of my all-time favorite campgrounds, and I remember telling Rick I felt like I was camping kind of in paradise. No lie, that's really what I said. It's morning, the moon is still up. When I look this way, and the other way is a beautiful sunrise. Very nice, nice and clean. I just cleaned the bath. Toilets are on one side. Showers, private, very nice, nice and clean. I didn't realize on the back side of this bathhouse are four or five private bathrooms with their own shower and toilet. So, of course, if you're at the Keys, you got to go to Key West, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. We were only there for a day. It is more pricey to camp there. Like I said, the marathon area was much more reasonable. What was it, about a half hour from Key West? Yeah, a little more than a half hour probably because most of that road down there is only 35 mile an hour and we were about uh, 30 miles I think, away from Key West. So. One of the things that I really loved that I thought gave it so much character is these chickens just running all around. <laughs> And I just, I'm an animal lover, so I really love that. And if you go to Key West, what I suggest is you go there, maybe go for some, go for the sunset at Mallory Square. That's a definite must. Do some shopping on Duval Street. Duval Street. Head on down to Sloppy Joe's. Yeah, there's so many places to eat and, and drink. And then get out of there before dark because what, what, go, what happens in Key West stays in Key West, so you may not want to. Have well, your youngins there after a certain time? I don't know that you need to get out by dark, but definitely want to be out by 10, 30, or 11 if you've got children with you, I think. Sunsets are amazing at Key West. There's no, probably nowhere like Key West sunsets because that's a big party there. you got to check it out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Visiting the Keys was one of my all-time favorite vacations, and it's really going to be hard to top. But I plan on going back. My only regret is that we didn't stay there long enough, so we were definitely going to stay there at least a week. I would definitely go back to Big Pine Key Resort. I'm going to put a link to their website below in the description. Like I said, it was a great place. I thought it was perfectly situated between, you know, you want to go visit the Key West, you want to go fishing, everything is right there. It was a great, great spot. And for the record, we are not being paid to endorse this campground. That's a wrap, everyone. You know what to do if you like this video. You all come back now, you hear?